Gorgie.com, I'm here with Coach OJ. Coach, you guys had a very impressive victory today against uh, SMU, SCU uh, on Viking Day. So, uh, talk a little bit about the complete performance your team put together today. It's good to finally see it happen. You know, we put four quarters together on both sides of the ball and, and some good special teams play too. And that was really the key to it, to play a good, clean football game, um, play hard for four quarters and, and be rewarded for it. These guys have been battling. Uh, we've been so close uh, in some wins and losses this year. Uh, it's great to see us come around full scale and, and finish a ball game and finish with some authority and close it out. Uh, quarterback Ryan Rubley came back today after missing the past two games with injury. Uh, talk a little bit about his impact today. Uh, it's huge. You know, Ryan brings uh, so much to the table. His athleticism, um, his leadership, obviously, and his ability to play. Uh, I think those two together uh, make a nice tandem of what, we've, what we're doing. I think Kyle's experience that he had in these last three games will help us going forward as well. Uh, but you know, there's a difference in the play right now with his footwork, what Ryan was able to do and, and, and create some offense on some broken plays that was really great as well. So he has a good shot in the arm and a good boost and, and adds, adds quite a bit to our offense. Uh, sticking with the offense, uh, Ryan Bradbury got over 100 yards again. He really took over in the fourth quarter. Uh, talk a little bit about his running style and how he's been progressing throughout the year. Yeah, Ryan runs downhill. I mean, he really does. He's, he's a punishing runner when, when he chooses to be, and he's pretty special. Yeah, he can turn it on like that last touchdown. Uh, if he breaks it, he can take it. And uh, just love him as a, as a player. He's one of those guys that wants more carries and wants to do great things. Uh, and I think that group of running backs really complements one another. But Ryan's, Ryan's developing into the player that we thought he was going to be, and he's special. He's going to be a great one for Augustana. All right, uh, going to your defense, uh, held SMSU to eight points today. Uh, really bend, don't break. You know, they got in the red zone three times. They only scored on one possession. Talk a little bit about them today. I thought they were outstanding. You know, I, I, I can't remember the third down, but it cannot have been a good percentage for them on third down. I thought we were amazing uh, on third down defense. Uh, and you're right, once they got down in the red zone, we stiffened up a little bit except for the one drive where, they, where we let them out and got it within a score. Uh, but just some excellent play. We continue to tackle well uh, and team tackle well. Um, so I'm just proud of them. I thought the line of scrimmage was controlled by our D front. Uh, I thought our linebackers played really well uh, going through the system and getting some blocks and, and uh, fighting through some blocks and making negative plays uh, for tackles for a loss. Uh, and then our secondary, I thought, played really well too on some compete balls. So just a complete game by our defense, without doubt. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Mac, Matt Wagner's uh, pick six. He basically stole it from the SMSU player. <laughs> What was going through your head when you saw that? I was really pleased because, uh, you know, when we had a fourth and one and we were considering, you know, possibly going for it, I wanted to flip the field and thought we could get him down on that end. And, and two great plays before that set up a pass play and Matt did compete and went and got that ball. He's such a great player. He's a competitor um, and I'm really proud of him. He had a big day uh, and he's been a good good football player for us this season and the last couple of years. So good to see him get rewarded and he's a pretty good running back in high school. So once he got to the five, I, I figured he'd be getting in there. He punched it in pretty well. All right, uh, next weekend you guys stay here at KO. Uh, you guys get up for Iowa. Uh, what, are, what are you looking forward to in them? Well, they're a very balanced football team. They're playing excellent defense. They're scoring points on everybody. Uh, they're a dangerous team uh, for anybody to play right now. So uh, we'll look at them more on tape. We wanted to get this one behind us, get a win back in the column, feel good about ourselves. But um, Upper Iowa is a very talented football team that has done a lot of good things against people this year. When I look at their scores, you know, it's multiple score games. Um, so we'll dive into them a lot more. I haven't, you know, seen them in crossover games a little bit, but uh, we'll dive into it on Sunday, you know, tomorrow and get going. But we know we're in for a good one, but it's great to be at home. Uh, the KO's, a, uh, uh, that's where we are, that's where we live, and we want to make sure we own it going forward. All right, Coach, congratulations on the victory. All right, fight on.